Let us construct this triangle and then the parallelogram. First, we will make a little sketch. So we have an idea of how this diagram will look before we construct it. So it is a triangle PQR with PQR 9 centimeters, angle PQR 90 degrees, and QR 6 centimeters. So we have a right angle triangle. The 90 degree angle here at point Q. So from P to Q is 9 centimeters, and from Q to R is 6 centimeters. So we want to construct this object first. So let's go ahead and get our long ruler. And draw a line, a baseline that is more than nine centimeters long. So about twelve. Now let us label point P. And let us take our compass out. Place the point at point P, stretching out our compass until we have 9 centimeters. Right now we are at 9 centimeters. Remember that we are using the ruler to ensure that we have 9 centimeters. We place the compass on the ruler. Okay, so we would something like this and we will have our compass on top of the ruler like that measuring the distance between the arms of the compass so we are sure that we have nine centimeters we now take out our lighter ruler and draw a construction arc as shown this should be point q so let us label it point q our deeper pencil. Let us construct a 90 degree angle at point Q. So we take our compass again, placing the point at point Q. We want to stretch out the arm of our compass until we can make arcs as shown. We use our lighter pencil and we cut over here we swing our compass around and we without changing the radius and we make an intersection on the other side right so these are our construction arcs with a lighter pencil we then place the point of our compass at one of the construction at one of the new points of intersection and stretch out our the arm beyond the point q using our lighter pencil we make a construction arc as shown. We then move our point to the other point of intersection as shown without changing the radius of the compass. And we make another construction arc. We now take out our long ruler and draw a line which connects the new point which we have created to point Q. This line should be more than 6 centimeters in length okay, so let us use our deeper pencil to do that remember we are supposed to have two pencils two shades of pencil when doing this so let's draw a deeper line now so this line would form a 90 degree angle at point Q we now take our compass again because we want to get a 6 cm line segment. Place the point as shown at point Q. Stretch out the arm of the compass until we have 6 cm. We will measure this with our long ruler. And we make with our lighter pencil, we make a construction arc as shown. This would be where point R is located. 
let us write point R with our deeper pencil. Okay, so we have point P, point Q, and point R. Now we can connect point P to point R with our long ruler. as accurately as possible. Okay, so we have constructed our triangle PQR as we were asked to do. And now we are asked to measure the angle QPR. So let's locate that angle. QPR is right. Is right here. Okay. And we will use our protractor to do this. So this is a protractor that I'm using. So it is about about thirty three degrees. Okay, so angle QPR is about thirty three degrees. Okay, so we will write it's about thirty three degrees. Show point as such that PQRS is a parallelogram. So we want to make some room here. PQRS is a parallelogram, which means we must now construct a parallelogram and we have to get a parallel line. Okay, so let us get our compass again. Placing the point of the compass at point P. Stretching out the arm of the compass until the point falls at point Q. Using our lighter pencil, lighter shade of pencil, to make a construction arc. As shown, so we are placing the point at point Q, sorry, and stretching out our compass until the pencil point falls at point R. We then move the compass point to point P and make a construction arc as shown. We then move the point of the compass. Sorry, we then stretch out the arm of the compass until the point is at point Q. Place the point of the compass at point R. Again, we are using our lighter pencil. Let us draw another construction arc to intersect the first one. Okay. And then we will take our long ruler and draw a line which connects point R to this new point of intersection. We will use our deeper pencil. And we'll also draw a line which connects this new point to point P. And that will give us our parallelogram PQRS. This is point S. This is the idea of how to approach this question. 
Thanks for watching and all the best to you.